much. Now, the video, the one I saw here, is simply speaking about uh, the Bible changed. Like, do you know what happened after the meeting uh, uh, in, in Takiya? Do you know what happened? Uh, do you know when, uh, when the Christians start coming with the, uh, the Trinity, you know, etc. However, all those uh, funny statements there have, you know, it, it's not valid for a very simple reason. Because if you are saying that the Christianity has been changed, you are talking about Islam being changed. What the Muslims do not recognize always, they are saying to us that the Gospel, the Bible, is the one is changed. But they forgot, those Abdul, that the Bible they are talking about is the Bible which is sent by Allah. Let me make it more clear. This is chapter 3, verse number th uh, 3. And just to show you, there's many verses I can show, but I will take one because one, one will do the job. According to the Quran, it is Allah who sent the Torah, and it is Allah, He is the one who sent the Injil. The Injil stands for the book of Jesus, the New Testament, and the Torah, a Torah, stand for the book of Moses. So according to Islam, it is Allah who sent down the book of Moses, the Torah, and the book of Jesus, the Injil, which means the Gospel of Jesus Christ. And yet the Muslims, they are working hard to convince you that the book of their God, the Injil, is changed. Isn't it? This is amazing. Let me show you how stupid and foolish this argument is. Alright? Because when you say that the book of Allah and the gospel of Jesus, the Injil, as we see here, they are corrupt. You are proving to us that the book of your God is the one is corrupt, not our book. Because simply, this is your God. We don't uh, approve him anyway. And we, we don't believe that our book is coming from your God. So a Muslim, when he accuses the gospel of Allah to be corrupt, he is shooting himself in the foot. This is how stupid this argument is. Because we don't believe in Allah. And Allah never sent us a book. And we have no idea who is this Allah anyway. So a Muslim working hard to prove to us that the Torah is corrupt. Okay, I have no problem with this. The Torah of Allah is corrupt. This is your God's problem, not my problem. Actually, this is a very clear proof that your God cannot be God. Because your God in the Quran says, no one can change the word of Allah. Let me show you the verse. There is many verses in the Quran speaking that no one can change uh, the word of Allah. As an example, not necessarily all of it, six, uh, chapter 6, verse number 34, and chapter 6, 115. Now, the Muslims, they might say to you, well, you know what? Uh, this is about the Quran. Allah is saying he will never change the Quran. It doesn't say anything there under about the Quran. It says no one can change the word of Allah. It doesn't say the Quran. Do you see it? And nothing whatever can exchange his words. In different translation changes or whatever. So no one can change his words. Is the is the gospel of Isa is the Allah word? Yes. Is the Torah of Moses according to Islam is Allah word? Yes. So this is a contradiction. Same time, if you want to say to me, well, this is goes only for the Quran, that means Allah is selective in his words. It means Allah, He love some of His words over other of His words. And that is a very stupid thing to say. Because why Allah will love the Quran to protect the Quran, but He don't want to love His words, which is the Gospel. But He don't want to love His words, which is the Torah. That is a very naive thing to say. If this is the case, it means your God, Allah, is moody and He is a fool. Because... The word of God, they should supposed to be equal, and uh, God should not favor his words over his words. 
That's very stupid to, to say. So what the Muslim tried to say to us, Allah, he sent a lot of books. Allah don't want to protect them. And Allah decided to protect only the Quran. However, you know, we can prove that the Quran today is not the Quran which Muhammad provided 1400 years ago. Actually, even the Quran says it clearly that uh, uh, even Allah himself, he changed his own words. Do you want me to show you? This is how we chip with this religion. Not only the Quran says that shaitan, which, which means Satan, he gave satanic verses for Muhammad and Allah would delete it. No, not only that. Even the Quran stated clearly that Allah himself changed his words. Let us read together. In chapter 6, verse 101, Allah is saying, If we exchange a verse by another verse, Okay, you just said nobody can change the word of Allah, but Allah he himself, he changed his words. And the question here, why Allah he want to change a verse by a verse? It doesn't make sense. I thought the word of Allah are eternal and nobody can replace them. And why Allah want to replace his words? It doesn't make sense. Oh, maybe Allah, he found that there is a mistake there, so he decided to fix it. Yes, actually the Quran says that. Let me show you how stupid this book is. Don't be insulted, Muslims, Abdul. Your book is very full. Watch with me. But here before you go, take a note please, that Allah himself, he is saying that he is going to corrupt his book because replacing a verse with other verse is nothing but a corruption because you should not change the book. Adding a verse is fine, but replacing it is a corruption. It's a change. You are changing the book. You see, I have books. When I, when I publish my book, if I want to add something, I will make addition and I will make a note that I added this. Your God, he is simply just a change in verses by other verse, which means that the first verse is gone. And this is against what he, what you are telling me, that nobody can change the word of Allah if he himself is the one is working hard to do so. And the point actually, why he is doing that? What the point? Why he Allah changed a verse instead of a verse? I will show you why. Because Allah... They always do mistakes. Read with me. This is one of the most stupid uh, verses in the whole Quran, by the way, and I really I love it. Because this verse alone is enough to prove to me that Allah is nothing but a fabrication. He is a fairy tale like Alice in the Wonderland. And this explains why Muhammad, he speaks a lot about drinking water and get taller when you go to heaven. He took it maybe from Alice. Here you will see Allah himself saying, Allah, this is, remember carefully, this is not me saying that. Abdul, read with me carefully. Allah is saying, we do not abrogate a verse or cause it to be forgotten. Allah will cause it to forget Quran? I thought the Quran is preserved. No, 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 it's not. Allah will make you forgive it. forget it. <laughs> then Allah will make you forget the verse or he will make it abrogated. But look what he will do. He will bring forth better than it. What, what, what? What? Allah will bring better verse. So as I said before, just a, a, a minute ago, uh, uh, Allah, he replaced, he exchanged verse, verse by verse. Why? Because he think about it and he found that this is a stupid verse. So let us change it and get something better. <laughs> this is not God. How God make words better than his words? How the word of God some of them are not good and some of them are good. How the word of God is not equal to each other. That means, you see, this is, can happen for a human being, not for someone who claims to be the Almighty, because the Almighty, he is always perfect and his words is always perfect. And there is no error and there is no mistake. But here, according to Allah, and this is his words, not my words, remember. وَمَا نَنْسَخُ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِهَا نَأْتِي بِخَارٍ مِنْهَا مِنْهَا أَوْ مِثْلِهَا so, either we bring something better or something similar. Later we will go to similar to love more. So here, Allah is saying to us that he have words which is better than other words. And that can happen only for a human being like you and me because we make error. If God is perfect, his, all, his words always perfect. And there is nothing is called word of God is better than word of God. 
That is the most stupid thing ever you can imagine. And then he continued to make to make the statement more silly. He said, oh, we will make something similar. Look how stupid this is. If it is similar, why you want to take it off? <laughs> like imagine I'm going to destroy your house to build you. Your house is a four, four bedroom and two bathroom. I am going to destroy your house, which you like, four bedrooms and two, two bathroom, and I'm going to build exactly the same house, four bedroom and two, two bathroom. Isn't it? This is something stupid to say or to do. If it is similar, so what the point? I will tell you why Muhammad he made this chapter because Muhammad he could not recite the same chapter twice correctly. So he said, "Oh, Allah caused me to forget the verse, but don't worry. You know, Allah was going to give me verse better than this verse or something similar. All right, don't worry, no problem. Don't worry, be happy. All right, you know, you know the song. Muslims sing it. You need it. So." Allah he caused him to forget the verses or this is truly Muhammad he forgot the verse and he cannot recite it twice because the Muslim they saw to us that the Quran is a preserve but yet the Quran itself saying Allah himself he caused you to forget verses this is not preserved no more because here we go you forgot it so now there's many missing verses in the Quran. It's not written in the Quran. And who is the one saying that? It is Allah himself. And who is the one who is causing that? Allah himself. Now I'm sure that your God Allah doesn't exist. And this is an excuse used by Muhammad just to fool you, to say to you why I cannot recite the verse twice. And this is why Muhammad, he came with something. It's called seven Quran. Seven Quran, because each time Muhammad he recited the Quran, it come in different ways. So he had to come with his excuse, and he said, oh, Allah gave me the Quran in seven Quran. That's very funny. Seven lies, they don't cover the first one. And here we go to different verse in chapter 3, verse number 3, to show you more contradiction in the stupid book of the, of, of the Quran. Allah saying that he sent down the book, he's speaking to Muhammad, okay? Uh, he sent down, read with me please the translation. This is uh, Dr. Muhammad Ghali translation. You can read any translation anyway. All of them, they are false and they are not good for me. However, I will go with the Muslim translation just to prove their lies. Uh, he has sent down upon you the book with the truth. Okay, so this is the Quran now verifying sincerely what this book is doing what is the duty of this book verifying what was before it literally literally uh, uh, abdul listen with me literally between its two hands when the abdul in the video he says that the bible changed after the meeting in the, uh, 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 you know uh, the Christians and uh, Nikia and Antakya and all everybody you know those accusation coming with and then the Quran says that 600 years which mean more than 300 years of what they are claiming because Muhammad he came 600 years after, after Jesus it says that he is confirming what is between his hands and by the way just to show you the false translation of Muslims this is translation in different verses which say the same between his hands it's coming what it was before him in many translation which is false because in Arabic it says Lima bayna yadayhi, for which is between his hand not was hypocrite liars so here it says literally between its two hands its two hands of who Muhammad and the people around him so Muhammad is confirming the Bible and that to prove again that you Muslims are really weird and strange in your in your mind. Simply, I want to say thank you for proving to us that the book of Allah is corrupt, and that means Allah cannot be trusted because the Gospel of Isa and the and the Torah of Moses, which are Muslims according to Islam, is gone, and your God Allah could not protect them. So can we trust a God who cannot protect His book? Come on, I will not. God bless you and thank you very much.